I was thinking you might not show. So, whose heart do you want us to change? A Mafia boss. Mafia?! What are you talking about? That's what they call themselves. This group seems to be the cause of the rise in phishing scams. What's worse? Once you're in their sights, they won't stop threatening you until they get what they want. They'll force you to take part in their scams, threaten your family, and ultimately destroy your life. Holy shit. It appears that their victims include some of our students. No! They primarily target juveniles. What's the boss's name? Nobody knows. The victims are being threatened not to testify. So even the police can't get a grasp of the situation. That's where you want us to start? You should be able to pull it off. If you're really the righteous band of thieves. Or is Akechi-kun correct when he says you act without justice? Can't you say something witty back at her? Why are you being so serious? Their main hub of activity is in Shibuya. That's all the information I have. You have two weeks. Once that is passed, I'll submit all the evidence I have to the police and to the school. I hope you don't let me down. She really had the upper hand in that exchange. <laughs> don't let me down. Damn it, she was just bossing us around. Come on, we should get in touch with Yusuke. The student council president from Chujin Academy? Are you saying that Makoto was sticking her nose into this phantom thief business? I'm not... Why would Makoto... Bringing up my sister to upset me, are you? It seems there's no limit to your duplicity. Fine. I'll listen to everything you have to say before I decide the truth of your statements. <sighs> I'm so mad. The Mafia. Hmm. Can we really do this? <clears throat> Either way, we have almost no information on our target. This guy's a crime boss, so I wouldn't be surprised if he had a palace. Still. Isn't this a prime opportunity for us, though? How? We are in huge trouble! Even after we punished an evil man who seemed to be good, the public did not acknowledge us. However, if we take down an actual criminal, let alone a target the police don't have answers for... Right! That might make people believe in us. I get it. That means even a catch you'll have to acknowledge us as the Phantom Thieves. What do you say, leader? Well, yeah, it'd be a pain if they came after you. But we don't have to deal with them directly. We just gotta do what we always do. Our time limit is two weeks, correct? We can't afford to waste too much time. I'll ask around Kosei and see if there are any victims. Okay, I know some girls who go to Shibuya pretty often. I'll check with them about it. All right, and I'm gonna see what I can find on the net. That leaves our school up to you and Morgana. You figured out what to do during the whole Kamoshida thing, right? I'll back you up. All right, let's get back together at the end of the week once we've got all our info. I'll get in touch with you guys later. We're meeting in front of the school tomorrow, right? Don't worry, I'm sure we'll find something new. Could I have a moment? Well, it's... I had a yearning to see the Sayuri. So if you're heading homeward, I'll accompany you. Ah, 
The Sayuri. It seems to suit this cafe quite well. I'm glad I chose to leave it here. I fear I have found myself in quite a horrible mess. Believe me, I am attempting to withhold my anxiety as much as possible. But to put it bluntly, I am in need of your assistance. Please, listen to what I must say. Throughout my artistic career, there have been moments I've struggled with particular motifs or techniques. However, each of those struggles did eventually fade. Yet now I find myself in a similar situation. But the more I try to escape it, the worse it becomes. It seems I am trapped in what we in the art world call a slump. Are you aware that I am attending Kosei on an art scholarship? Such coveted grants are not given as charity. I must continually achieve within my field to remain eligible. Were I to lose my scholarship, I would likely have no choice but to leave the school as well. In the earlier days of my career, I would exclusively paint what I desired when I desired it. The only goal I had in mind was the pursuit of pure beauty. That goal is what drove me onward. I wanted nothing more than to attain the lustrous allure of the Sayori in my own work. Yet, what reason do I have now? Holding on to my scholarship? Keeping a roof over my head? Worldly desires are all that spur my brush to move. And the resulting work reflects such impurity of mind. To be honest, I am unsure as to whether I can even call myself an artist anymore. My apologies. It seems I got somewhat carried away there. But I simply cannot accept this lack of purpose in my work. That is why I am so upset with my own indecision. Such vague ambition is, in essence, a sin of sorts. Though I suppose allowing my young career to come to an end here would be even more sinful. I only wish to create a work I can be genuinely proud of. Just look at the Sayori, her incandescent figure, alluring gaze. That is the meaning of pure beauty. Yet no matter how hard I try to replicate it, an elegance so sweet remains elusive to me. Why is that, you ask? It is surely because the painter behind the work differs. Because the soul differs. But if my estimations are correct, the soul is nothing but another way to speak of the human heart. What, then, is the heart? How does it bring forth such beauty? I must understand. <sighs> to be perfectly frank, though, I am unsure of how to do so. Would you be able to provide me assistance? You have already brought profound change to my world. Hence, I believe you of all people may be able to bring me closer to the truth. You would? W wonderful. At the moment, my art teacher has yet to notice any drastic changes in my work. But I cannot hide forever. Impurity of the heart will undoubtedly seep onto an artist's canvas eventually. I must go now. My curfew approaches. I look forward to speaking about this matter again. Rain, huh?
Nijima-kun, what is going on here? Apparently, the damage done by this so-called mafia has even reached our student body. Well... I thought this absurdity was nothing but a joke. Not only are there victims, there are even rumors that some are involved with such crimes. I've even received inquiries from their guardians. Why is this happening? Unfortunately, I do not have the answer to that. This is the greatest disgrace in the history of this academy. If it were to be discovered. This is a vital issue for the student council. Did I not ask you to resolve it? I'm doing the best I can. And I can trust you? You must do something about this at once. You're the only one who is reliable around here. Don't let me down. <laughs> From what I've heard, even the other students are starting to be dissatisfied with you. At this rate, you and I will both lose our roles at this school. Do you understand? I do. Please, just give me a little more time. right now. Can you tell me about this easy part-time job? I'm sure you know about it, Ida-kun. Please? <sighs> you don't need my help. A girl like you could probably get a job anywhere, right? Huh? Um... Now that you mention it... Yes. So, um... What I mean is... This is going south fast. Uh, oh! Francois! Huh? My cat, Francois, got run over by a car, and also has an incurable illness. I need money fast. That's not convincing at all. Is she talking about me? Uh, if Francois were to die, I think I'd die too. Probably. Come on, don't talk like that. If you don't like it, then tell me about that easy part-time job. You know something, don't you? I've heard the rumors. Rumors? Was it Nishiyama who... Nishiyama? Oh, uh... Hey, what was that about Nishiyama? That's... She actually got the momentum back. She's not acting anymore now, is she? Come on. Let's leave this guy to Lady On and go look for that Nishiyama fellow. Do you have a minute? You're looking for something, right? I want to help you out, so please ask me anything. Nishiyama? He usually hangs out with Ida. Oh, so you want to ask him about Ida. So that's why Takamaki-san was chasing him. I'm sorry, I don't know where he is right now. He usually stays till late, so I think he's probably still somewhere in the school. I'll keep digging around while you're looking for him. Well, I guess we can let him handle this. We'll have to ask someone else about Nishiyama's whereabouts. Can you think of anyone who might know? Nishiyama, that's me. You're that transfer student, right? You need something? Ida, how do you know about that? Are you doing something to him? He's been acting really strange lately. Oh, what do you mean? Is he really wrapped up in something shady? One day, the two of us went to Shibuya, and a man approached us over near Central Street. He asked if we were interested in an easy part-time job. I said I wasn't, but Ida was into it. He was asking the guy all sorts of questions. Um, I don't know. I was so scared I ended up going home alone. I only heard that it'll only take 10 minutes, and it's good for people who don't stand out. Ida started spending a lot of money. That's when his strange behavior began, too. But that's all I know. That's enough, right? A man on Central Street, huh? 
That is suspicious. Maybe he was making him commit crimes? And that means this part-time job is somehow crime-related. It takes ten minutes, is good for people who don't stand out, and involves a small envelope. Does that ring any bells? It's something the Mafia would definitely be up to. Like illegal drugs? Maybe they made Ida smuggle drugs for them. That definitely fits with a small envelope. And you can get arrested just for possession. So he is smuggling. This won't be pretty. Come on, let's go back to Lady Anne. We'll ask Ida directly. Please tell me about the job, or else... my beloved Francois... She's still doing that? All right, take over for her. Uh, come on, you two? I already told you I don't know. Proof? You've got to be lying. You can't trick me. Come on, you two. I already told you I don't know. He did? That bastard! Damn it! <laughs> Shit. Well, if you already know about it, fine. I don't want to talk about it here. Let's go somewhere a little quieter. What's up with you? Especially in front of everyone. Yeah, I got a job. So what? Isn't that normal? What are you getting at? How do you... I've only told one person about that. Of all people. I can't believe you were the one to find out. You're right. They told me they had an easy part-time job for me. And I ended up smuggling drugs. All I had to do was put envelopes into coin lockers. And they said they'd give me a hefty paycheck. I didn't know what was in the envelopes, though. Still, this is what came out of it. So you knew, huh? They started threatening me right after they deposited the money into my bank account. They had pictures of me carrying the goods. Said they'd expose what I did unless I paid them off. You know? Why are you even asking me this stuff? Are you just gonna use my job to blackmail me, too? See, well, even if you were planning on doing that, I don't have any money I could give you. If you're really interested in that job, try heading over to Central Street. That's where they told me about it. I, I told you everything you want to know, right? Can I go? Well then.
with me I'm certain all along Complacent while I know my own Without the proof Without a sign Without grasping it The real question to be asked Where have I been? I'm a sharp shooter Atlas masquerade Hide in both face and mind All free for you to draw Okay, we're all here There sure are a lot of high schoolers during the day they must be targeting them somehow. Finding the specifics may be difficult. With such a crowd, the odds are against us. Right. We're gonna grab him by the tail. You should head over to Central Street, like we planned yesterday. Sweet. Let's get going. Let me know if you find any shady people. Just as we planned. We might end up running into the Mafia. Be ready for anything. Hey, aren't you interested in all the hottest brand names? We're having a special sale just over there. How about you go take a peek? We ordered way too much, so I have a ton left over. My boss will kill me if I go back to him with all these extras. Look, I'll sell them to you for cheap. What do you say? What should we do? It depends on the price, wouldn't you say? Hey, what about you? These are unforgettable deals. <laughs> well, that's disappointing. Come back if you change your mind. Come on, the shop's right around here. How about you come take a look? What is it? Seems like some kind of sale. No, you probably I... shouldn't bother. Everyone's really going about this seriously. They're definitely worthy of being phantom thieves. We can't fall behind either. Let's look for that homeless man.
All right. We should do what we can to help them out. I have no idea which of these leads are real. Try going to the most suspicious sounding place. Hello? Have you made any progress toward finding the boss? That's good to hear. Hey, you two got some time? I have a great job for you. It's real easy. Guess you could call it a delivery job. It seems we didn't have to look very hard in the end. You're high schoolers, yeah? Don't you want something more than just your allowances? Hmm. By delivery, do you mean that of suspicious materials? Huh. <laughs> You're a funny girl. So, you won't answer me. Then I was right. Huh? What's up with you anyways? Why are you asking all these questions, huh? Oh. It was all a joke. Why would I get worked up over some dumb kids? Anyways, I can't hang. See ya. Um, if you don't want to deal with us, we could always go see your boss ourselves. You really gonna say that, knowing who he is? <laughs> no way I believe that. Well, I'm out of here. You guys are annoying me. I'm pretty sure he's part of the Mafia we're looking for. I don't have any proof, though. I tried to trick him into saying something, but... He dodged all the traps I was laying down. By the way, thanks for standing up for me. I I'm going to go now. That boss seems tricky. And it looks like he taught his subordinates well, too. No wonder the police are having trouble catching him. Anyway, you have some serious guts. You didn't back down at all against that hooligan. Though we still didn't end up with any new information. Let's stop here for today. It's an unknown number. Hello, this is Nijima. Makoto Nijima. Thanks for earlier. I dug it up. I realize I'm apologizing after the fact, but it just didn't feel right keeping it from you, so that's all. Bye. You talking to a woman? I heard her voice. Speaking of, some girl called looking for you around noon. Said she's the class president. Said she's got something that belongs to you. She seemed to know you, so I gave her your number. She must have looked up LeBlanc's address trying to contact you. That Nijima sure is thorough. Then again, she called you just to apologize. It's a bit weird, but maybe she's not so bad after all. <laughs> 